this idea of removing the chains from the NFL sidelines, I just, I don't love the idea of not seeing where the ball is. I understand fully the technology may make it for a more accurate reading, but I, there's something about me just liking to see football the way that it was before, right? Like love to see the actual guys with chains, even in those, you know, those times where like they're fumbling around and they're not quite sure if they grab the chain at the right spot. And it's like, it's always a little, you're like, maybe I'm getting screwed by this guy. You start Googling, where's this official actually from? Is he connected? Is he from Indianapolis? Is this why the chain? Do you guys, do you feel this way? Or are you like, just get rid of the chain gang. We just want the best technology. Where, where are you at? I'm going to start with Mike. Cause he's younger. Maybe his opinion is, is different than mine. Where are you at on this one, Mike? I feel like they can get rid of the chain gang, but they still have to put some kind of marker on the field for the players and the coaches to see where the first down is, where the line of scrimmage is, all of that is still going to need to be marked in some way, shape, or form. So, like, are they really removing the chain game? Or are they just just using the microchip to determine first downs where we're not going to have to use an index card to determine first downs anymore? I do like the tradition of, like, everyone huddling around, like, oh, is it a first down? Is it not? What's going on? Uh, uh. But we don't need it. It's a waste of time. I'd rather give the time for pass interference to be reviewed than to be able to measure these first downs for sure. Whatever. Why wouldn't you want technology to be correct, Tony? Why wouldn't you root for something to be 100%? If it crosses the goal line, if it crosses this, you want that and that, that ball could tell you exactly where it was. Then you go with it. I don't understand uh, why you would be against it. Like you're getting rid of these chain marks that, okay, you don't even need anymore. Like, you're still going to have the guy standing there with a first down. You're just not going to have that long ass chain anymore. That's it. You're just getting rid of the chain. I like it. I, I just feel like it's been there forever. I don't want any more changes. I mean, the NFL is already going to start putting ads on jerseys. They're going to uh, pretty soon we're going to be looking up and it's going to, the goalposts are going to have Red Bull up the side of it or something like everything is, it's not, they're just changing too much. And I'm, I'm showing my age. Like, I just don't like all of the massive amounts of change, which is going to be kind of weird when we get to the Jersey conversation, although eh, fitting, but it's exciting. The stuff Mike talked about is exciting. Joe watching the defense be there at the line of scrimmage at that moment. And then they realize they just got a fourth down stop the way they celebrate. It's there's nothing better than that. To me. They're like, still going to celebrate the same way. But it's not got the same buildup of just a bunch of weird old people like stretching out like chain link Home Depot, you know, like and then all of a sudden they see it and you just see the reaction. It's like, great offense. Get on the field. Defense is coming off super hyped. Like, I love those moments. I do see what old people are kind of saying, Tony, because like you just open the door a little bit more like the door's already been cracked a little and it's pushed open a little bit more to just te technology full on calling the entire game. But the refs are so bad that I'm getting to a point where technology calling the entire game might not be such a terrible thing to think about, even though it's going to completely change the way everything looks and the way everything operates. If, you know, an AI robot is calling the calls directly down the middle with no bias and he doesn't need eyes to see if it's right because he has a hundred camera angles he isn't even a he or a she he's just a, a robot so he doesn't even have a gender so there is nothing that could be said about rigged games or anything ever again i don't know that's the one thing i could see people getting upset about is like this is something really small minute very small addition but like using a microchip to place the ball like but football Tony, fans from before where this sport grew on and and has a foundation on would never even fathom that small little thing happening. And you're cracking the door a little bit more to just full on technology invading the game. Like I see the that baseball, they have like the the strike animation, like when a pitcher pitches the ball and you can see if it was a strike or not, and you can see if the ump got it wrong. Like I feel like they're like kind of hinting like we could just use a computer to call strikes and balls here if we needed to. Mike, this is the same old man, Tony Tucker, right here, that was just texting us the other day that he wanted hologram football to be played. Okay. So they don't even have to travel. Time out. Right? Time so out. He was like, 
you that is out of context. What I am talking about is asking these athletes to fly to Australia to play a game. I'm saying if they want to have football in an Australian stadium, make it hologram technology there. So you still fly around the states and you do all that normal stuff, but we're asking people to to fly to Brazil to market the game. What I'm saying is let's just put the hologram technology in these other places, not actually in the states. They still need to fly around to the states and make that stuff happen. I, don't take don't take me out of context. Just put the VR stuff. Just put the VR on them and let them play like that. They don't even have to get on the field. They'll just put VR and they'll just like this. <laughs> Well, then at I'll that point, what, more people might be able to play. That's the only way Patrick Mahomes is beating Tom Brady's record. I'll tell you that right now. Start playing VR football because he ain't going, he ain't going to be playing don't, into a... Don't put that kind of jinx out there. We don't want to be <laughs> testing to see like, oh, well, it's already bad enough that all year it's going to be like, can the Chiefs be the first team to three-peat? It's going to be... It's nauseating. Like, I really will celebrate them getting knocked out before the Super Bowl. Like maybe I haven't celebrated since probably the, what was it? The Patriots lost in the AFC championship game to the Broncos that one year. Like it was done. Like I just don't need another chief Super Bowl this year. They're already putting microchips in everything else, Tony. They already got him in shoulder pads and on the players. Like that's how you get those next gen stats. Like do you watch on Thursday night football? I don't know if you guys still do it, but. On Thursday Night Football on Amazon, they give you two options to watch football. Uh, and one of them is the next gen where it's actually showing you how fast they're running, the route they're running, and everything else. So, I mean, you, we're already almost to where you don't want to be, Tony. Yeah, well, I mean, we definitely have moved in that direction quite a bit. But it's sort of like what they did in tennis, right? Like, you had that. You had the marker and all of a sudden they started saying like, we're just, the the players were like, all right, we'll rely on technology because it seems better. But guess what? They still disagreed with technology. They still (laughs) disagree with the tracers inside the tennis balls going like that serve was, did not hit the line. You're, you're, you got a glitch in your system. So like, there's still going to be arguments. Everybody thinks that computers solve everything. Look what the internet did. The, I think the internet has divided us just as much as pre-internet. Like, it's not like we it, things got a ton better with the inter- invention of the technology. As an online entrepreneur, that's a whole other topic that we can go down, Tony. But I do agree. Some new conspiracies could be started. I was sitting next to a dumbass Raiders fan at the 63-point game that we all forgot about by now because it was so long ago that was telling me that he thinks that there's magnets in the footballs and the NFL can just turn them on and it just repels the football away from the goalpost. It's like, well, they need a team to miss a field goal. They just turn them bitches on, and it just sends the ball as far away from the goalpost as possible, which would explain why Cameron Dicker missed that kick in that in that twenty-seven point lead blow. And also, why am I bringing up all the bad things that happened to the Chargers over the last couple of years? But they're saying that they could use the technology to rig the games even more. Uh, we start seeing conspiracies like that, you know, start to arise from from the robots uh, rigging the games. Can yeah. the AI robot also put a bet in? Is does that make it so the robot can't put the bet in just like a human or you can bet on it? You can bet on it as long as it's not your same team. Okay. And you don't do it in the room. building of the buildings. Wait, you, Tony, do you remember this game? Diver Bowl? I do not remember this ball. Happy Friday. Good morning oh, yeah. or afternoon, wherever you're at, to Harrison and LA Spike. Uh because L.A. Spike also said something up in one of the other comments. I was a little afraid to put it on the screen because I wasn't sure what the new overlay setup. Mike, tremendous job on this. Uh, Was if it was going to bump up our video and like mess up the alignment. So I was like, I'll let one of these guys put the first comment on the screen. But it looks great. He's talking about like the the AirPods being at everything for whatever. And Joe brought up a good point. They've already been using this technology. Like they're the NFL is going to try this in preseason with the first down marker. But they've already the chips have already been in everything for years. Like they already kind of know that it's going to work. They just want to see the fans' reaction to it. Bill Flames, I'm with Mike on the mic. What's up, the brand new one time for your mind? He gave you fair warning. Now it's time to smack him in the mouth with that raw sports talk from the town. Sweet chin music to your favorite sportscaster. 